Master God, we thank you. We praise you for your love and kindness and grace. Thank you for the privilege, dear God, that you afford us to be your people. As we gather this in your holy place, oh God, pause in your presence to hear your voice. We pray that you would speak to us, Lord. Speak to our life and our living. Encourage our hearts. Renew our mind. Give us strength. Restore our strength, oh God. Let us be faithful in fulfilling your purpose. We give your name praise. We give you honor and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue on like we uh, have been for a while now, and that is taking a look back. Hey, right. Taking a look back at, uh, at at what we talked about on Sunday. Just taking a closer look at that. Uh, hopefully, you know, a little, a little more in depth if you have issues, questions as we go. Let's. Let's get them in and, and talk about it because it's important that we understand that, that we come to to hold on to the faith because this world is doing everything it can to just wrestle it away from us, to, mm -hmm. to strong arm us and make us think that somehow being a Christian put us uh, in a disadvantage and make us something um, other than. It makes us, you know, weird or something crazy. So... But but that's not that's not that's not the case at all, and we should be be not only confident, proud of, and, and very open about who God has called us to be and the strength that He gives us to be that. So let's look at Romans chapter twelve, and it's that one verse right there at fourteen. Now it when you get a chance, we'll read all of twelve. Because it, it kind of uh, gives us context. But what we're going to lift out here is 14. Romans 12, 14. It says, bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. That sounds ridiculous to um, non-Christians. And, and quite frankly, to a lot of Christians who, who come in. And, and we want to find a way to explain this away. Or to excuse ourselves from... The responsibility of, of, of adhering to it. But it is in God's word. The same word that says there's a heaven and a hell. The same word that says Jesus Christ paid for our sins. The same word that says we are more than conquerors. That we're a new creation. That same word has this in it. And it says that we are to bless those who persecute us. And that we are to bless and curse not. So if God is true and his word is dependable when it comes time to bless us, to save us, to rescue us, to heal us, uh, to, to fight our battles, then his word is also true when it comes time to discipline, direct, and coach us on how we ought to live our lives, okay? So let's, let's look at what this text is saying, what I believe it's saying. And that is that if we're going to please God and, and do be faithful to this text. We have to be intentional about it. We do not bless or curse unintentionally. It is an, it is an intention, intentional act. It, it, it's premeditated. It, it's thought out. You do it on purpose. We are not, we're not going to curse someone, bless someone, and say, oh, I didn't mean to do that, and, and let that be true. Okay, and what the truth is that we, we when we deal with folk, uh, blessing or cursing them, it is an intentional act. It's done for on purpose, and it's done to accomplish a particular purpose. Okay, it's done on purpose and done to accomplish. It's done on purpose. It done to accomplish a particular purpose. It, it is done so that what we, um, when we go through it, when we're looking at what's going on and and, 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 and how we deal with things, it's um, it's done to make sure that we uh, accomplish what it is that we're after. So if you're if you're trying to bless someone, that's that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to. If you're, to, <laughs> if you're trying to bless someone, then you're intentional about blessing them, and you're going and you're going to bless them 
uh, you don't do it by, by accident. It's done, okay? So you, 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 your purpose is bless them. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to find a way to bless them. You're going to figure out how to, to make their lives better, how to speak well over them. But if your intentional, if intention is to, to curse, to, you're going to find a way to do that even in polite company. Mm -hmm. Even when there's folk around that you ain't supposed to, you know, you know you're supposed to have your Christian on, so you, you're not going to just out and out talk about them, but you might throw a little Christian shade. You might just, you know, let, let's, you might say, let's pray for them, or, you know, you know that's just like what Paul said when Paul wanted us to, we, we, we find a way to hook it in, but we, 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 we don't necessarily present them in the best light, okay? We talk about Balaam and his ride, and they end up being his ride. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So if y'all don't know your Bibles, you didn't get that. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we have to we have to find out. Uh, we, we we have to realize that we are intentional when we, when it comes to blessing and cursing individuals. But what this commandment requires of us, if we're going to be faithful and bless and not curse, it requires that the believers uh, be in the image of God. That means that it's not, it's not just what you do, it, it's who are you? Are you representing God? We, if, if we're going to fulfill this mission, we don't do it representing ourselves. Because if I represent me, I'm gonna take care of me. I'm gonna, I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm gonna look out for me. I'm gonna defend me. I'm going to protect me. I'm going to promote me. I'm going to get what I need because I'm representing me. I, I, I make sure that I'm okay because I'm representing me. But if I'm in the image of God and I'm representing God and I see myself as an agent of God in this world, as an ambassador of heaven in this world, if I see myself as an extension of God's divine outreach because as the body of Christ, if that's how we see ourselves, then, then we're in a position to fulfill this. Because we're representing him and not us. We're representing, we're representing, uh, we're showing forth his love, his grace, his mercy, and not what we think should happen. We, we handle folk the way we think God would handle, not the way we want them handled. Okay? So, so if we're going to do this thing in Romans 12, 14, if we're going to fulfill this commitment, if we're going to make it happen, we got to see ourselves as, as representing God, we are in God's image, in God's world, doing God's will. And therefore, our intentional purpose will be to glorify him. Mm -hmm. But if I'm not in God's will, and in God's image, doing God's will, then my intentional purpose will more than likely be to satisfy myself. Mm -hmm. And that's not where God would have us to be. Now, what is it, what we talked about, what is a persecutor? A persecutor is not somebody who accidentally step on your toe. It, it persecutor, you know, your, your persecutor is not somebody who, you know, you that, that, that cut you off in traffic and, 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 and gave you the one finger salute. That's not really a persecutor. That's just somebody who's rude. That's somebody, you know, who, who, who may have done something that, that, that a God is evil. A per but a persecutor, and, and to be persecuted is something that, that that's relentless. It, it happens. It it goes over and it, it just keeps coming up. They won't they won't leave you alone. They they, they they just keep poking at you and and doing things trying to trip you up and mess you up and and it just keeps uh, uh, keeps nagging and 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 and, and they, they enemy just got them just bothering you. <laughs> And, and they do it intentionally, trying to cause you harm or pain, discomfort. They do it to trying to shame you or trying to to somehow uh, to to, to uh, attack you and, and 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 make your life less than pleasant. Yeah, they do that. They persecute you, and every time you turn around, they're persecuting you. They're laughing and lying and and, 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 and telling jokes and doing stuff just messing up they they're tra setting traps and and, and they're creating uh play pitfall pitholes for you to fall in they just keep doing stuff to you 
them people, the people that you don't like, the people that you could do without, the people you wish God would just move away from you, the people that you wish you didn't know their names, the folks that just leave me alone, get out of my life, get out, of, I don't want to be around you, them folk, them the ones that we're told that we are to bless and not curse, them people, them, them, them folk that... Now, if you don't have any of them in your life, you might be one of them in someone else's life. <laughs> 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 Come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. So, so don't make sure that you're not a persecutor of another. But, but when, when, when we have them there in our lives, those are the folk that, that are, are, are persecuting. And then the, the devil, Satan, many times will devil down because what he does, he's our persecutor. They say, well, how am I going to bless him? No, no, no. Here I'm going now. Many times, Satan is our persecutor, and he always is our persecutor. But what he does, he sends persecution under a different face. The same, the same, the same thing, just a different mailman. It's the same, it, it, it's the same thing. Uh, uh, he, he comes and he persecutes you about a mistake you made when you was a teenager or, or a, a, a failure that you had when you as an adult. He, he, he shows you uh, something about you that you don't like, something about yourself that you wish you could change. You ask God, why did you give this to me? Why did you do this to me? Why did you make me like this? Something like that. And what Satan will do is he keeps sending, maybe different people, but he keeps <laughs> sending things around to poke at, to show you what it is. And we start not liking those people because they point out stuff about us that Satan is using them to do what? To persecute us. So we, we, we end up criticizing, staying away. And many times we allow, we allow Satan to convince us to become our own persecutor. Wow. We persecute ourselves because of what he keeps saying or showing. So we are relentlessly trying to convince ourselves that we don't measure up, we ain't good enough, that we shouldn't have made that mistake, it's too late for us. Mm -hmm. We relentlessly tell ourselves, you can't do it, you can't go, you don't know enough, you're not good enough, that's why nobody wants you, that's why you're by yourself, that's why coming like that. We, 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 we tell ourselves, Jesus. and we do wow. these things to ourselves on, relentlessly, God. and we become unwillingly and many times unknowingly our own persecutor. Jesus. And, and, and the Lord said, look, stop. stop. You wrestle against not, not flesh and blood. You don't, you don't, it's not people, including you. It's a spirit. So when this thing is happening, mm -hmm. stop beating yourself up. Stop being your own persecutor. Yeah. Bless and curse not. Mm -hmm. Okay? But so, so we have to come to the place where, where any of this stuff that keeps like dogging us down Relentlessly coming after us. That, that, that we can't blame other and persecute other people. We gotta let them go. And we can't even persecute ourselves. That don't mean we have to let the enemy get away with it. Mm -hmm. We're fighting. And even when we bless our persecutor, we're not letting them get away. It's not, it's not letting them get away. Now what does what does bless mean? Bless means to speak well over, to proclaim. The, 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 the day of the Lord, the goodness of God, is to, it is to uh, uh, pray for God's divine will to be accomplished in the life of another. It is that God's blessing, God's comfort, God's peace will be on them. That their lives will be, will be full of joy and happiness and peace and absent of suffering and pain. Mm -hmm. That they will come to know God and walk with God and be blessed of God. That is to, that, that's blessing. To, it's not, I throw you $5 because you're hungry. That is a blessing if I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. But it's not just that. To, to, to bless them is to, to want to see and do all you can do to see God's will for them accomplished in their lives. Mm -hmm. So to bless them is to, to speak well. It's a good word that we get like benediction or, or, or no, not benediction, um, a eulogy. We think you will associate eulogy with death. But eulogy really means to speak well of. Okay, so when someone do, eulogizes someone, what they're supposed to be doing is speaking well of. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so the better you live, the easier the, the eulogizer's job. <laughs> but <laughs> but what, we, what we have to do is, is to bless them, is to speak well, to, to, to proclaim God's goodness, God's grace. That's what to bless someone is. So when they're cussing you, you bless them. Mm -hmm. And not like, well, God bless you too. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no. That, that's, that's Christian cussing. All right. we got, we, 
you know, don't, don't, don't Christian cuss nobody out. <laughs> but it's to really, it's to really bless them, to speak well over them, to, 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 to um, represent, to be God's image in their, in their lives. That's what it means to bless. To curse is almost the, the opposite. Is to, is to pray that God's goodness will be removed from them. That God's protection, God's love, God's grace will be taken from them. Is to speak ill of. Is to, is to highlight flaws and failures. To bless, I hide your flaw, your mm. failure. Mm. To curse, I reveal it, point it out, talk about it, highlight it, put a light on it. You see, so... So if, I, if, if I'm blessing you, the, the, the Bible says love covers a multitude of faults, okay? So if I'm blessing you, my love won't, won't allow me, if you're blessing me, your love won't allow you to expose what you know to be a quote-unquote uh, a flaw, a wall. Uh, uh, you won't go around and say, oh, yeah, you think he's good, but look, you, know, you, you won't do that. But if you go, but what curse does to curse, it does the opposite. Mm -hmm. Instead of highlighting something that's good, they could be saying, oh, man, she's wonderful. Mm -hmm. She's great, you know. Uh, every time we see her, she got a great smile. Yeah, until you just catch her when her bills are due. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's like you point at and highlight what something that you think is wrong. Why? Because you're trying to take the, the shine. You got, you're trying to knock the shine off. Mm -hmm. you're, try, you're trying to put them in a, in a bad light to... Um, your way of, of hurting is to curse. Mm -hmm. it, don't, it don't mean that you use cuss words or you mm -hmm. have roots in, in, in a pot of boiling water. That, that's, not, that's, not, that, that's not what we're talking about here. We're, we're, we're talking about how we put our, our words on people and, and the desires of our heart for the other individual. If I bless you, my, de my desire of my heart is that God's hand of grace, mercy, protection, and goodwill be upon you. If I curse you, then my, my desire is that God's hand of grace, mercy, protection, and goodwill will be withdrawn from you. Okay? So God get them. God kick them, slap them down, whatever it is that we do. That, that's, really, that's, really not, that's really not, that's really not in line with, with keeping this, this verse here. Okay? All right. <laughs> now, now the, the text says to bless them and curse not, right? We, we, we might want to get off the, 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 let ourselves off a little bit by saying that here Paul's being redundant and he's not being redundant. He's being clear. And, and the clarity is that when you bless someone, you ought not distort your blessing with cursing. See, because sometimes we can bless in one breath and curse in another. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can bless you and, and speak well of you at the same time, internally, don't mean any of it. Mm -hmm. I can mean the exact opposite. My words can say, bless. God, pray God would just watch over you and protect you and, and guard you, watch over your home. And in turn, I'd be saying, uh, knock you down what you said to me. I, 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 I'm saying this, but I don't believe God's going to do it. He ain't going to bless you and all the mess you in. <laughs> See, so we can say it and at the same time not feel it. So there's this, this, this conflict that goes on inside of us because we, we're, we're speaking blessing, but we're not desiring blessing. So, so Paul says, bless and curse not. Don't curse them. Now, is, you say, well, is that possible? Look at, listen to James chapter 3, beginning at verse 7. James chapter 3, verse 7. It says, for every kind of beast and bird, a reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no man, no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless our Lord and Father and with it, curse people who are made in his likeness of image. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be so. Now listen, 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 listen. 
So, so you can see how serious it is and what Paul is really, how Paul's pointing this out here, right? If you stand in a mirror, no, 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 I'm going to make it about me. If I'm standing in the mirror and I'm sitting there and I'm, you know, straightening my collar and making sure stuff is as straight as it can be, and you walk by me or somebody walk by me, not you, somebody walk by me, and they look in the mirror and they see and they point at my reflection in the mirror and say, that is about the dumbest mm -hmm. overweight individual I've ever seen in my life. Who are they talking about? Mm -hmm. they, huh? What about you? They talking about me? Mm -hmm. They're not talking about the mirror. Mm -hmm. They're not talking about the reflection. They're talking about me. Right. Is that right? right? All right, let's read this again. Okay. Look at verse 9. With it, we bless our Lord and Father. Mm -hmm. And with it, we curse people, here it is, who are made in the likeness of God. Oh, oh so when you're cussing them, you're cussing God. Ah, you see it, right? Yeah. Oh. You see it. If we're in, if 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 the world is in the likeness, mm -hmm. if the person that you're cursing is in the likeness of God, then who is it? Who is yeah. it that we're really talking about? Yeah. Who is it that we're really pointing at? Who is it that we're really knocking down or or criticizing? You see, we think it's that person, mm. but it was, it's not the person. Mm -hmm. You see, God loves all of his creation. God created all of us. And God, the worst of us, God loves no less than the best of us. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we start thinking that somehow God loves us above others or appreciate us more than others, and we take the liberty of, of, of criticizing someone who God identifies himself with, mm -hmm. then that's, I mean, how many of y'all would not take it personal. If you, you, you got your child standing beside you and somebody walk up and say, you have no home training. Your parents didn't raise you not one bit. Mm -hmm. Would you take it personally? Mm -hmm. Why are they talking to the child? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but they're talking about the parent. So when we look at, we, we're doing that and criticize and talk about other people, it is God that our conversation ends up with. It's mm -hmm. him that our words mm -hmm. land to land up, end up with. Mm -hmm. So um, so when we just think about that, that's how you go to criticizing and throwing people to the ground and, 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 and hating on folk that God loves. Because mm -hmm. when we do that, and we've all guilty, we're all guilty of it. I, I ain't here throwing bones at nobody. We're all guilty. But when we're guilty, we're that. We're guilty because we've done it. So, so let's not do it. We, we're all guilty. There's no excuse for any of us being guilty. Mm -hmm. It's just the reality that we've all fallen. So let's stop it and, and just do what God has called us to do. All right? All right. Um, if we're in Romans, here we are in Romans 12, 14. And if we're going to do this thing, we got to remain true to God, refusing to conform to this world, to conf refusing to let this world define us and shape us and cause us to be like it. We're, we're creating God's image, not in the image of this world. And when the more we look like this world, the, the less we look like God. The more, the more that we, we, we want to please the world, the less we're able to please God. Mm -hmm. The more we demand that this world fulfill our needs, the less we depend on God to fulfill our needs. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, it's, not, it's not like you can have God and the world, the world and God. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's we're going to focus and depend on one at, at, at the expense of the other. Mm -hmm. and it's, and, 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 but most of us, we, we deal between God, we're like the, pin, the, the ping pong ball and God and the world's playing a match. <laughs> It's like we, 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 keep, we bounce back and forth, one to the other, and, and, and we usually run to God in pain mm -hmm. and to the world in joy. Come on, Pastor. Mm -hmm. We run to God when we need something, the world when we got something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it, we, that's usually how it goes, but when we, we really 
can't be on both sides of the table at the same at the same time. It can't it can't be done. We say, but if we're going to to please God and fulfill this, then we have to be true to God. We can't we can't allow ourselves to be conformed to the to the image of this world, to shape of this of this world. And we see that even in what we're called. We're called the church, the the, the called out ones. Uh, preachers like to call it the call the called out crowd. We 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 we're, we're, we're called we're called out. Look at um, 2 Corinthians 6.17. The Bible says that we ought to, you ain't got to go down, I'm going to tell you basically what it says. It says, come out from among them and be separate. Come out from among who? The world. Now, where are you going to go? See, people say, well, if I'm not in the world, where am I going to go? I can't go to Mars. I ain't going to the moon. I mean, where do I go? Well, you come out from among them in terms of you no longer uh, um, Place yourself under the, the world system as the ultimate authority in your life. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you stop living in the world. It just means that you stop participating, acting, and taking on the shape and, and familiarity of the world. Mm -hmm. If you come out, there's a, there's, a calling, there's a calling out or a calling away from mm -hmm. the world system that we have to allow ourselves to answer and come to. Um, there's a saying that we, we, we kind of, the church kind of say, now, some of y'all, I, I, I couldn't find it in the Bible. Maybe it's in your Bible. I couldn't find it in the Bible. Um, I heard it, and you probably heard it too, uh, but I couldn't find it in the Bible where it says, be in the world but not of it. Mm -hmm. now, now, I know that's, that's what we, we, we say, and, and that's, that, that's a truism in terms of, uh, of, of what the Bible says. Teaches it's not it's not the, the I don't think it's the, those actual words um, may, maybe so maybe I just missed it but I I, I I didn't find it and it's not there but the teaching is there that that we are to be um, in the world but we're not we're not citizens if you will we're not of it we're not we're not the, the it, we don't represent it in how we live we're not of the world Jesus said it this way. Uh, in John 17, he says, we are no, we are, Jesus said that we are no more of the world than he is. Mm -hmm. Now, was he in the world? Yes. But where was his allegiance? His allegiance was in heaven. Mm -hmm. He, of the world? Yes. Earthly parents? Yes. Respected his earthly parents? Yes. Obeyed his earthly parents? Yes. But his allegiance and, and the one who he gave the full authority over his life was his father in heaven. So while we are of the world, yes, we're of the world. And yes, you got to pay taxes. And, and, and no, don't ride around with a little note when the police stop you. Put the one about I, I, I'm not of this world. No, no. <laughs> Don't 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 do that. Don't you ain't got to do that. That's not really what this is talking about. You 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 we, 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 we live in a world system, but we don't have to be governed. Our our thoughts, our, our worldview, how we conduct ourselves, the love that we share, the form that we take is not chiseled out by the world. It is given to us by the grace of God. And we have to trust him to make us who he wants us to be so we can represent him where? In the world. If I exclude myself from the world around me, what good is it that I'm uh, his image in the world? Mm -hmm. The only way that his image in the world has meaning is other folk get to see it. Other folk get to deal with it. So if you're in the image of God, but you don't, I don't mess with those folk crazy. I ain't going to, I don't know. <laughs> if, if you don't allow other folk who are quote unquote worldly to see the God in you, then then what good is it to be the image of God? You just somebody trying to get to heaven. And if you if the only thing you want to do is get to heaven, it sounds like somebody who's waiting for God to call you home. <laughs> but we're not just waiting for God to call us home. We, we're supposed to be his image in the world, which means that the world get to see how we handle trouble, how we handle tribulation, how we handle joy, how we handle personal attack. How do we handle our persecutors? How do we handle folk who love us? They got to see that we do it differently than they do. That we don't, we don't, live, we don't live and walk by the same set of rules. That 
a perfect, a, a great example of that was the judge that, that just hugged those people. Now, can't catch all kinds of criticism, but she said, she said, to my shame, the woman had to ask me twice, and I hugged her. The, I, but then she said, but as a Christian, I understand our job is to show love, is to show forgiveness, to show grace, to give hope. Now, the, she's a judge, and yes, she had to do that, but yet, when, when God gave her opportunity, her Christian faith came bursting forth and it overrode all the conflict, conflict that she knew she was going to get, all the flack she knew she was going to get, all the criticism she knew she was going to get. Her commitment to God caused her to hug and to offer forgiveness and love to someone that she, in her own words, says is a murderer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. You do it because you understand that I am, you are, we are created in the image of God. And it's our responsibility to show forth his grace, his mercy, his love, that the world around us can see it. We're not to be conformed to the world, but we are to be in the world in a way that they can see that we've been transformed by God. Mm -hmm. That God has made us something new and something better, okay? Now, yes. Well, a lot of times you don't know until you get put in that situation. But, but, but sometimes the, the key word of that phrase is put. You see, because sometimes God will offer us the opportunity to be in the situation, but we won't allow, allow ourselves to be put in that situation. Mm -hmm. So there's opportunity. The, the judge had opportunity to do what she did. But she could have stayed behind the bench and never moved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And none of us except her would have known the difference. Mm -hmm. Only she and God would have known mm -hmm. that she was supposed to go. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, many times, God will give us the opportunity, but, but we won't allow ourselves to be put in the position. Jesus. We'll hold back. And say, well, I'm not sure. I don't know if God wants. I don't, know. I don't think that's it. I mean, we, we won't go and do what God called us to do. So what I'm saying is we have to be willing to, to, to go, to, mm -hmm. to, make, to err on the side of love, grace, and forgiveness, mm -hmm. to err on the side of loving folk. If, if we're going to make a mistake, let's make a mistake trying to represent God mm -hmm. rather than make a mistake trying to protect mm -hmm. ourselves. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you, see, you see? You see what I'm saying? Now, now, I ain't crazy. Now, I, she did not do that while court proceedings were still going on. That wouldn't have been. That would not have been right. So no, you don't. You don't stop working, leave your job because you got to go talk to somebody about they they crying outside in the parking lot. You leave your assembly line post to talk to them and stuff just falling off to the off the floor. Luke. Stuff just falling on the floor, Lucy, and you outside. <laughs> and you outside talking about, I'm doing the Lord's work. No, go do your work. And when it's over, when God give opportunity, right. then you step forward and you do what God called you to do. Now, not when it's, I'm not, not talking about convenient. I'm talking opportunity. Mm -hmm. When it's right to do, okay? And many times we say, I just wasn't convenient. Or I just wasn't feeling it. Mm -hmm. Who feels like praying for a persecutor? Mm -hmm. when, when, when do you feel like blessing somebody who just cussed you out? Mm -hmm. You don't really feel it. They got nothing to do with it. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not feeling it. Okay. Your, 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 your news flash, you're not going to feel it. Until, but you're going to be pleased and God will please with you. And there's going to be a sense of joy. After it's done, or oh, even while you're doing it, many times, God was, you know, and the person that you're blessing may never know it or never appreciate it, mm -hmm. but that don't even matter. Mm -hmm. What does it matter if they don't say thank you? Okay. What does it matter? What does it matter if they say, I knew she was going to do it, or he, he loved it. I tell them what to do, and they do it, because I say so. What does it matter? Our ego get in the way then, talk about, uh -uh. our pride jump up. No, I did not. I, mean, I could no. What does it matter? If God knows you represented Him and you built in His image, then we got to come to a place where God's the one we want to please, and we're pleased for pleasing God, no matter how they take it. All right. All right. So now I have to admit.
to be in the image of God in this world Mark puts a target on us. Mm -hmm. The world sees us as different, strange, weird, <laughs> narrow, narrow minded, uh, that we're, 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 we're blinded, we're, 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 we're uh, what's the word they like, how do they like to phrase us now? Bigoted. Intellectually lazy? Mm -hmm. Bigoted. Huh? And bigoted. A bigoted? <laughs> um, you, you are, are, are bigots? <laughs> because you, you know, you closed minded, narrow sight, all of those things that they want to say, you know, hypocritical, uh, you know, you say you love and you hate, you, 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 you say you accept and you reject, uh, all those things that they want to say, why? Because we're not like them. Mm -hmm. We do it differently. Right. As, and when we do it differently, they don't, the world who is so open and accepting don't handle different well. <laughs> Because they say, oh, just be open and affirming. Mm -hmm. But we welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. Go to an open and affirming church mm -hmm. where they say, oh, we same-sex marriage, all that. Come on. Mm -hmm. Go there and stand up and say, I do not believe in mm -hmm. same-sex marriages. And see how long you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go there and say, no, 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 no. God made him male and female. And, and, and no, you can't. They, they, no, this thing, this whole thing of homosexuality is against the plan of God. Go to an open and affirming church, stand up and say that, and see how welcome you are. Okay. So what, what they say is, well, we, we welcome everybody as long as you're like us. As long as you approve of us, as long as long as you um, speak what we want spoken, right. but as soon as we say no, we we believe the Bible. No, we believe what God says. All of a sudden, there's a whole bunch of things that we are, and 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 so the same thing is true, unfortunately, from the church. Mm -hmm. When we do things in the church that the, we, we show forgiveness for somebody that, that folk in the church don't think we ought to forgive, mm. all of a sudden we weak, we crazy, we get an upper hand. There's so much of stuff. Why? Because living in God's image is foreign to people, and therefore you and I look strange when we try to do it. Ooh, when we try to look like God, we look we look strange, deformed. We, 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 we look like we have life without explanation. Mm -hmm. what, what purpose are you serving? See, because the world are, is so fixated on, the, on living for self and for those connected to self, to live for someone else, you must, have, you must be up to something. Mm -hmm. No, you can't be that nice naturally. Mm -hmm. no, you, no, you can't be kind for nothing. Mm -hmm. You're not, no, you ain't being nice for nothing. You, you want, what are you trying to do? Why? Why? Because that's how the world has been chiseled. And unfortunately, too many of us inside the church have been conformed to that image. Mm -hmm. That we, it's hard for us to love or even to accept love because we think it comes with a price. We think it comes with, 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 with something. And, and many times it does. But we think it, no, no, they can't really care that much. She can't be that nice. She said she prayed, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Because that's, that's, what, that's what it looks like. But being in God's image in this world sets you up. So if you want to fly under the radar, just exist from, 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 from womb to tomb without any kind of issue. If you just, you just want to just kind of just, 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 just glide through life and don't cause no waves and be in calm water, then don't tell nobody you're a Christian. <laughs> and don't live and, and don't live like you love Jesus. Because if you tell somebody you're a Christian and you live like you love Jesus, you're going to have some trouble in your life. Yes. Yeah. You're just going to have some issues. And, and so, so, you know, it's, it's either peace, right, or the Prince of Peace. <laughs> Because you know every time we talk about Jesus giving peace, there's always a storm around. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But then we talk about you eat P -E Jesus in peace, there's a storm. Every time. So, so we, we have to understand that there's, if, he's gonna, if we're going to know him as the peacemaker, the peace giver, the, the prince of peace, wow. then, then just be ready for the storm that he shows up in. Mm. So he's going to show up because there's going to be a storm. All right? Now, in, in back then when Paul was writing, Christians was, was catching it because they were seen as either atheists by the Romans or pagans by the Jews. They, 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 they kind of were rejected on both fronts. <laughs> they, they, the Christianity flowed out of Judaism as it's as seen. Jesus was a Jew, y'all. Mm -hmm. As much as we want to bring him out of Rome or make him European, he wasn't. He was a Jew. Mm -hmm. um, he, came, he, he came out of Judaism. That's, that's where he came from. And, and so, but he, Christianity was, some people say, hijacked. But it was, uh, it, it, it found in many ways its, its legs, its sea legs in Europe. Mm -hmm. So you got, you got Jesus who is, is Jewish and you have Christianity, if you will, Paul going over to, to, to Asia Minor and to, into Europe, preaching the gospel. That's where the Western aspect of Christianity comes from. And caught right in the middle are faithful Christians mm -hmm. because the Romans say, we, we'll, we'll let you put your God up here on the mantelpiece with all the rest of our gods. Mm -hmm. But if you can't trust all the rest of our gods, then you are atheist because you are, you are a non-believer. You, you live as though God don't exist. Mm -hmm. See, for, for the Romans, just having one God was paramount to having no gods. Mm -hmm. what we got, gods were localized. Gods were, were regional. And, and if they, if they were a little bit more in the region, they were at least only seasonal God or the only <laughs> aspect God. You, had, you know, you had God of the fall, or God of the harvest, God of the sea, God of the sky. Mm -hmm. So no, no one God had all the power. Mm -hmm. In fact, for, humans can be promoted to be God. Caesar decided, I'm going to be a God one day. And so he got added to the mantle mm -hmm. because now he's what? He is a God. So to say ain't none of them God mm -hmm. is the paramount to be saying that there is no God. There's, okay. an, there's an atheist. Because not, not only are the, you, you Jews or you Christians say there's only one God, you say you can't see him. <laughs> now, back in, for us, we kind of take that as natural. But for them, to have a God that you couldn't see is to say you have no God at all. Mm -hmm. If I can't put my God in my backpack and carry him with me, mm -hmm. how am I going to be protected on my journey? Mm -hmm. So they had to be able to take their gods with them and see them. Mm -hmm. So, so... So Christians, like Jews to the Romans into that culture, was pretty much atheists. Like we was thinking of an atheist today. You just don't believe me. You live as like you don't believe in God. You don't trust in God. But then the Christians say, okay, well, I can't, you know, if I have no real home there, so they get persecuted. That's why it was so easy. Y'all heard of Nero burning Rome, right? That's why it was so easy for Nero who burned Rome to blame the Christians. Because they were seen as outcasts, marginalized, atheists, this, this satellite group on the side that really had no, no real commitment or, or dedication to Rome. So now the same, the same Christian group now will turn and they look at Judaism. And Judaism says, you're pagan. You're pagan because you, you believe, you say there's one true God, but you don't follow the, the, the laws of Moses. You don't follow... You don't do it. It's, it's, it'd be kind of like us today arguing with, with, with a person of Islam mm -hmm. who say, we serve the same God. Mm -hmm. And we say, no, we don't. Mm -hmm. We don't serve the same God. Now, it comes out of the same line, right? Come out of the bloodline of Abraham. Mm -hmm. it, com it comes right down. They, they're monotheistic. They only have one God. They call him Allah just because that's an accident of language. You know, like the Jews says Yahweh, they say Allah. Now, how, how is Yahweh and Allah different other than they come from two separate languages? Well, who they are and what they represent is different. Mm -hmm. So we can say they're different because there's a Jesus with, uh, with, with, with Yahweh mm -hmm. that doesn't show up in the same way over with Allah. Mm -hmm. they're, so they're, they're, how they encounter is differently. So we... When you look at it, you turn to the Jews, and the Jews say what we would say to, as Christians, what we might say to, to Islam. I, I, re, I, I hear what you're saying, but you ain't saying. <laughs> you're not saying. You ain't saying. See, you reject Jesus, you ain't saying. 
you, you, even if I gave you Allah and, and Yahweh is the same, mm -hmm. even if I, I don't think so, but even if I gave you that one, mm -hmm. you're still not saved <laughs> because you reject Jesus. Come on. You see, so that's kind of the dynamic was going on with with the, with Christians and Jews. Mm -hmm. They get the Jews would say, "Uh, uh you ain't right. Mm -hmm. You reject Moses. Mm -hmm. You reject you, know, you ain't you reject the law. You don't you don't sacrifice. You don't believe in the temple. Uh, uh, you can't be Jew. How you gonna be Jew and you don't follow the law of Moses? You you don't respect the the laws of the temple and you criticize our high priest." How you going to be? You ain't Jew. All those are tenets of Judaism. You cannot be Jew without those. Mm -hmm. You can't be. So he said, no, no, you ain't Jew. So Christians are in the middle feeling what? Thrown away by thrown away by the Romans and, Ju and Judaism with nowhere to go except together. Mm. And I think that's by design. Mm. I think, this is me, I think it's by design. I think it's by divine providence that we find no comfortable home in this world. The only place that we have comfortable in this world is with other believers. We are the body of Christ, the family of God. That's why folk who are outside the church find no real rest. They say, if they're a real believer, you, you, you need other believers around you. It's lonely and hard to grow at, without yeah. believers because because you can't you can't find that that connection that that sense of home. We're communal people. We 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 need community. We need to socialization. We need. That's why one of the things that that they had they found out early when people started homeschooling that you got to get your child in some kind of social activity. They may academically advance in, 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 in homeschool, but they're socially behind mm -hmm. because they, they don't have that connection. Mm -hmm. So they, they did what? They found a way to connect it. Why? Because we are social beings. We need each other to grow. Mm -hmm. So when the church can't find a comfortable place in the world, I think it's by design. Mm -hmm. I think it's God saying, I called you out. Mm -hmm. We are to be together. We're to be the body of Christ. And the enemy has, sli has slipped in the back door and he creates chaos in the church. He got us cussing out people, cursing people, refusing to bless people because we have been shaped, conformed to the world where I got to take care of me. If you got to take care of you, what God doing? What's God's job in your life if you're going to take care of you? What he do? What his job is? What his job? What his job is? What are you responsible for? Huh? If you, if it's your job to make sure you good, what does God do? If you gotta make sure, I gotta make sure I put food on my table. What God gonna do? Who's feeding you anyway? Isn't it something that you can have food and not and no appetite? So, so if. if why, why are you going to run out here talking about you got to get food and, and not depend on God who, who, who's necessary to give you the appetite? Mm -hmm. To give you the ability to move your jaws to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what, what if God decides, you know what, you have food, you want to eat, but you ain't asked me about digestion. <laughs> so everything you eat just going to stay in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. oh, come on. Process. Our whole of life is God. So we have to be, be willing to trust him and know that he oh, and know that he got us and, and we're going to, to be a part of that, all right? So the Bible says, bless those, which says, again, that they were persecuted by systems, by people, by what was going on. If the, the, it's the world system that is contrary to the will of God. The world system system. That's, that's why it says that, that Satan is the, the prince of the power of the air. We, we make the mistake of saying that, this, that, the, that the earth, that, he's a, that, that Satan's in charge of the earth, this world. He's not in charge. This is still my father's world. 
He is. This is not Satan's world. Mm -hmm. Satan has so influenced the world system mm -hmm. that he creates evil on in, within my father's world. Mm -hmm. This is not Satan. No, no, don't, 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 don't give him what he, what he, what he don't have. He created chaos and evil that has corrupted the systems that God established for human coordination in life in his world, on his earth. Satan has slipped in and, or sometimes just showed up and messed up the systems around us. That's what he has done. But God has done what? Reestablished those systems within his church. It's in the body of Christ that God creates uh, a Michael Jackson bubble that allows us to live inside without the, the impact of the world having a right to come in and touch us. Mm. That's, what, that's why the relationships in the body, in the church, the relationship in the body, in the church, the relationships in the body, just say it, right? Just say it. The relationships in the body, in the church are more significant than biological relationships. Mm -hmm. I know it's a mouthful mm -hmm. and I know it's hard, but it's true. Mm -hmm. It don't mean that you can't love your people. It don't mean that you can't give all you got to protect your people. It don't mean that you can't, but what it means is that when that the blood of Jesus connecting us ah. is stronger and more powerful than the biological blood that connects us. Amen. There are people in the church who would get you far better than folk that you share blood with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they ain't saved. Right. Because mm -hmm. if, if, if the people in your family biologically connected to if they're saved, then they're in the, they're in the body too. So you're, you're relatives twice, I guess. Yeah. You're, you're, uh, this sounds like like one of the Midwest states. You're your, you're your, um, you're your uncle's brother. <laughs> you sound, you don't sound like some place in the Midwest, right? But 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 spirit, you're spiritually, 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 spiritually. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> non followers of Jesus want the disciples of Christ to either accept or validate their religion, their worldview, or their lifestyle. Get this, as proof of your commitment to Jesus. Say that again. Non-believers, and sometimes baby Christians, want disciples of Jesus to accept and or validate their religion, their worldview, their lifestyle as proof of your, the disciples' commitment to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I thought you were the That's right. I thought you, mm -hmm. you're, supposed to be a, you're supposed to love everybody. Mm -hmm. What, what, what do you mean? I, I was born this way. How are you going to tell me? I, no, uh, how are you gonna, it's about love. How are you going to say that about me? Well, what, what, make, what, make, what, make, what make your understanding of God any better than mine? Why, 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 is, why, is, why is Christianity the only way? Your God's so small that he only has one road. <laughs> Telling you, your, your your guy can't handle competition. Your guy can't be asked questions. It seems to me that your guy had to learn how to be God. Oh, that stuff's out there, y'all. I ain't saying wow. nothing. It's not. It's not out there. I'm really not. So, all that stuff is is, is like that, and 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 they want they. They want you, mm -hmm. and they want me as, as folk who, who raise our hands and say, I am a disciple unashamedly of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I follow him. I believe the word of God as we have it. Now, you can talk about all the controversies and all that, and we can talk about that. But, but as we have it, I believe it. Mm -hmm. I believe that the word of God is true, and that we ought to live according to his word. Mm -hmm. and, and they want you to say, prove it 
by accepting the mess I put on your table. Mm -hmm. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. They want us to do that. They, they come at us that way. Now, is that persecution? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how do you handle that? Do you get mad and write them off? Do, do, do you say, get out of here with that old nonsense? Some people don't, don't even take that. Look, I, look, talk to you is a waste of my time. I ain't going to do that. Mm -hmm. But is that how God really wants to handle it? <laughs> do, do we want to say, go, you know what? You sick. Go be sick by yourself because you ain't about to make me sick. Is that what we want? No. What we ought to be doing is find a way to bless and chisel away at, at, that, at that misconception to find out what's under it. What's the pain? What's the church hurt? Who did something to you? What, 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 what are you going through? What, what, what do we, why, why, why are you angry at God and you never met him? Why, why, do you, why, do you, why do you talk about what God won't do and you never asked him? What's behind that? What's under that? You know, we need to find out how to, to, to address a way that we can bless folk. Bless them. They come with us, persecute us with that nonsense. Man, here you come again. Stop asking me all these questions that don't even make no sense. Go read a book and come back. <laughs> but, but instead of that, God would have us what? To spend time. To, to, to allow his love, his grace, his mercy that rescued each of us, by the way, yeah. to flow through us yeah. to them. Yeah. If, if you were saved by anything other than God's grace and mercy, you have a right to deny it to others. Mm -hmm. But if, if you were saved solely because of God's love, his <laughs> grace, and his mercy, then you have no right to withhold it from anyone else. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, y'all got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, 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 all right. Look at James, and I'm done. I got some more here, but look at James. I, I cut way down. See, look, this is, I started here. Mm -hmm. I ain't even start where I was supposed to start. Okay, look at James, chapter 3, verse 7. Mm -hmm. we, we, we've been there before. Because all I want, I want to say, uh, this, let's look at chapter three. Look, I'll, I'll tell you this man. It says, "For every kind of beast and, and bird, of, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come." blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things are not to be so. Does a single uh, does, a, does a spring look, what's it say? Does a spring, spring pour spring. forth from the same opening both fresh and salt water? Mm. Can a fig tree my brother bear olives or a grapevine produce figs? Neither can a salt pond yield fresh water. Okay? Now, we, 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 we come here, it's just two points I want to show you here, and then, and then, then I'm done. The first thing is, is this, that obedience to God is a measure of who we are, not what we're capable of. Obedience to God is a statement of who we are, not what we're capable of. I just can't do that. Mm -mm. I just ain't there yet. I don't know if I can handle that. Those are statements of what you're capable of. Mm -hmm. Obedience is not what you're capable of. Mm -hmm. Obedience is who are you at the core. If you are a person who, who God, give God complete authority over your life, who are you? I am a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who are you? I am one who obey God and do God's will. Who are you? I am a lover of God, his people, his purpose, and his will. Obedience comes natural to people who's that. But somebody who measure obedience by what they think they're capable of will more often be disobedient than obedient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
because it's not a measure of what you're capable of. God always calls us beyond ourselves. He, what we, what he calls us to do, we never have enough to get it done. We're always in the red. We, that's why we depend on God to do it through us because we don't have enough to do it on our own. So if you say, I can't do it because I'm not there yet, that's always going to be true. There's not going to come a time where you can, what can you do without God? And so when, when we come to this place, the obedience asks the question, well, who are you? Not what can you do. Who are you? Are you one who believe in God and trust in God? Who are you? Not what you're capable of. That's the first thing I want to show you. The second thing I want to show you is nothing in God's creation was designed for more than one physical reality at any one given time. All right. It says, can a spring, can a, can a river, can a creek give fresh water and salt water at the same time? No. Why? Because either it's going to be a fresh water creek or a salt water creek. Right? So, a tree. A tree cannot be a house while it's still a tree. Is it, you have to, is, is that, everything, everything in God's creation was designed with a purpose, a singular purpose. That it must be that. And so it, it can't have it can't have two physical manifestations at the same time. Now it can serve multiple roles. A tree can be a birdhouse, a squirrel, a squirrel's house. It could be it can it could be shade for the traveler and still be a tree. So it can do all of those things at the same time, but its physical manifestation is still a tree. Okay? So it can have different functions, different roles that it plays, but it only can be one thing. So what are you? See, I can't be a blessor and a cursor at the same time. I can't be a follower of God and, and one who take care of myself at the same time. I, I'm either going to follow God and, 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 and sacrifice myself or I'm going to dismiss God and live for myself. I can't be both at the same time. Nothing in creation was created to be two different things at the same time. Everything's just one thing. Now, you could take that and put over a whole bunch of social issues today. You're created to be one thing. Now, just because if I take a tree, right, and I cut that tree up, and I use that tree to make a whole bunch of pencils, mm -hmm. what I have is a whole bunch of pencils. What I no longer have is a tree. Mm -hmm. So did God make a mistake in making the tree? No. I just used the tree for a different purpose. Mm -hmm. And the purpose now fits what I think my needs. Mm -hmm. All right. Put that over a whole bunch of social issues, y'all. God didn't make a mistake in creating mm -hmm. us, what he created us. It's just that we decided that what he created us to be doesn't serve the purpose that we have right now. So we'll recreate mm -hmm. what God created us to be into what we want to be so now it meets our needs. Mm -hmm. You with? Yep. Okay. All right. Bless and curse not. Don't let the world change you. Don't let the world recreate you. You cannot be for God and for the world all at the same time. You can't give forth Blessing and curse at the same time. You can't bring forth salt water, fresh water at the same time. Be one who loves and bless all of God's creation. All right? All right, come on.